Hello again, enjoyers. Welcome back. My name is Tethys, and today we're continuing our playthrough of Block Tower 2. Right now, we are trying to escape from Scissor Man, who has just killed the head librarian. Or, I guess he didn't kill him, he got the clock tower to do it, but same thing. Helen? That's Edward's voice? He can't still be here. Helen? That is Edward's voice, and it's coming from inside the clock tower. I think it's a trap, quite honestly. Edward! Edward! Holy shit! I guess we found the librarian. Oh, he's gone. Whew. Time to leave. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we can't go out that way. Computer for managing the library. I hope it's networked to the outside. Well, why not use it then? Help, white bitch in trouble. Oh, we can go in here. Well, 
that was weird. Everything seems normal here. Yeah, except that one chair that decided to move by itself. Is Edward under there? Edward, I thought you'd still be here. It's dangerous here. Come with me. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Be a good boy, and don't worry, we'll make it. Yeah, that's reassuring. Okay, so, gotta find a way out then. Although I think, quite honestly, Edward Scissorman. just saw. Oh shit! his ass out with a photo of a fax machine. Oh, thank God, police. Can't be open from the front. Policemen are swarming around outside, looking for a way in. There are so many people just on the other side of the doors. Well, I can't open the door. so many people here a moment ago. A magazine. The smell of the model and the cover looks fake. Red stains on these books. Blood? Time to read these books. Okay, I think we gotta go get Edward. So hopefully, we're safe. should be hiding under the table, even if only him. 
He must escape from here. Okay, maybe there's something in the, uh, the head librarian's office. be entered without a key. Well, I would assume the librarian would have the key. The sender of these envelopes is Professor Barton. I really shouldn't look inside. I wonder if there's anything else. Key. I know, the collection room key. I'm sure the collection room is in the back. Okay, well, let's get in there then. Gotta be something. The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places of which he is very proud. Mr. Sullivan has shown you this room many times, but this time it's in pitch dark. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. Thank goodness the power's on here. and other valuable artifacts. Many of Mr. Sullivan's artifacts, looking at them, would turn an art dealer green with envy. Get in there. Where else is there to hide? So it sure as hell doesn't look like there is anywhere. What the hell? How is there two? That doesn't make sense. Is there two? I don't understand. How were all those giant stone statues carried in here? There's multiple. No need to turn off that light. Okay, so 
we've got the flashlight and pliers still. Anything else I can do? What about the garbage? Just a trash can. Okay. So, what else can we do then? I think we need to check upstairs. Because we haven't really gotten to examine this room without being chased by something. this see what happens the operation panel the big clock something's written on it you've discovered hint number seven covered with rust mr. Sullivan's body is gone too Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything up here. And I don't think the clock would work anymore anyway. Okay, so there's nothing that way. Maybe in here? Maybe I missed something. I think Helen's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I think that's what we're gonna find out. What about in here? A vent. It's covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. That's it, Edward can fit through. He's small. If I could just get the screen off. What about pliers? Crap. Okay, there's got to be a screwdriver somewhere. Edward should be under there. So, maybe there's something still in that room behind the uh, receptionist desk. line the shelves. I should hope so. Files line the shelves. Where's a screwdriver? Nothing useful. I wonder if there's something useful here. A screwdriver. Yep. Alright. I think we got it. Oh. 
actually have to clean up that dirt. vent and shove Edward on through like a sausage. Edward, come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. Okay, now I need to get out. Small rickety old desk. Alright, let's get out. Or at least try to find a way out. Maybe that he'll be able to open the door for us so we can get out. Oh my god. Hey Teach, what's going on? Teach, hang in there. God, that voice acting was atrocious and now without knowing the whereabouts now, of the statue without knowing the whereabouts of the statue it was over there was no way for us to escape from scissor man wait did i just find jennifer? one of the endings jennifer jennifer are you asleep already <gasps> Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer, hold on. <laughs> oh my god, really? Helen's ending, ending rank E, survivor unidentified. Wow. So that's one of the endings, I guess. Oh my god, that's brutal. Okay, so let's, let's, we're gonna go back and we have to, uh, get the, uh, get Gots to go find the statue from Rick. We're just going to quickly get through all of this again. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we got this scenario now if we ask him to go get the statue. Oh, I see. Is that how it was? Yeah, if you know something, Gramps, tell me. Right now, I'm looking for a clue. Any clue. Hmm. Mr. Gotts, do you know of a castle called Barrow's Castle? Barrow's Castle? Yes, it's a castle in England. Then, before the Barrow's family moved... Yes, that's what I have heard over 80 years ago. So, what's up with the castle? There's a puppy up front. 
A monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. How's that? That'd be Scissorman. I had always thought it a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. So the old man kicked his own son? Or killed, not kicked. <clears throat> Listen, Gramps, do you know where the castle is? Give me a moment, please. I'm sure that somewhere there is. Woof, woof. Puppy, what you barking about? What's wrong, Victor? Be quiet. It's okay, boy. What's the matter? Make such a racket. What the hell? Butler's dead by his own dog because of Scissorman being there. Come on, you bastard. I'll fight you with this umbrella. basically. Okay, hopefully we come across some clues. We found hints in the other playthrough, though, so I would assume those carry over. <sighs> Nothing. Probably a guest room. A gown hanging inside. Just garbage. We've got to find the statue, though. He has it. A neatly made bed looks just like a hotel bed. Oh, this is onto the balcony. into the other rooms and unlock it. Oh, I can tell though that closet looks like it could be a hiding space later. This should be one of the other rooms to the balcony. TV room. Looks like a flower vase. There's the statue. Mm. 
There's a statue about 30 centimeters tall standing on the table. What the f is this? Oh yeah, this has got to be that statue Teach was talking about. We now have the statue. Good, we've got it. Now let's get the hell out. There are many mystery novels. Hey, I've read this one. Congrats. A rather comfortable looking rocking chair. An old television set. What about the couch here? A relaxing, stylish pattern. Let's open this. And this must be a second door? Nope, it's another room, I guess. Interesting layout. I'm not sure I'd want my bedroom that accessible to the entertainment area. It leaves almost no privacy. Alright, we've got the statue, let's get the hell out of here. Take a quick peek around here and make sure we're not missing anything. I love how the lights go off when he's in here. Pictures. Ain't interested. Let's see if we can get the lights back on. Shit. The lights are out. Okay, well, back to the living room, I guess. stuff to take a look at in here. A sofa, a relaxed design that matches the room. A full cocktail cabinet. Whoa. Really? You're drinking? Inside there's a row of coffee cups. Castle the old geezer was talking about. I gotta get some more information about it. Oh, the pupper seems nice now, and the body's gone again. That's what I love, is disappearing bodies. I think this would be ju would just be in the way. Would it be in the way? It's such a big, big empty area. Uh, anything here? Oh my god. Two rooms. And knock on wood, no scissor man. That's an interesting layout for a bathroom. This ain't no time to take a leak. Oh, I don't know. What about here? Only toiletries. There are some towels. Hmm, interesting. Is 
there anything? Oh. The shower. Well, thank you, 411. I wasn't sure. Okay. So, I'm going to take a wild guess and say there's nothing in here right now except for a potential hide in space. room and a laundry room with a copy pasted bathroom layout washing machine it's full of water there's some detergent on the shelf this could be used to blind someone you now have the powder soap what about if we use it in the washing machine? Okay, guess not. We could use that board to smack someone over the head. There's some laundry inside. Come on. There you go. A pole's leaning against the wall. Looks like a mop handle. Where's the mop? What a waste. This chest can still be used. chest that's no longer being used. Well, there is a box on top of it. The cupboard is full of canned salmon. Okay, it doesn't look like I can use that uh, box on top, although it gives me the, the impression that you can. Alright, is there anything else? Doesn't look like it. All right. One more place that we can go to. And that's all the way over here. The kitchen with a mask. Something's written. Discovered hint number eight. Well, how do I view the hints? A trash can. Hold on a second. I'm curious, how do you view the hints? What the hell? How do you view the hints? It doesn't make sense. Um, 
and I don't want to spoil it for myself too much, but I guess from what I can tell, it's just you collect them. A microwave oven. There's something inside wrapped in foil. Okay, we'll grab it. What is it? Better yet, why would you wrap something in foil in there? A wooden mask. Probably a souvenir from Africa or somewhere. What the fuck? place is freaking haunted. There's a cooking utensil inside. This can't be used as a weapon. Sink, it's clean and in order. I wish my old lady could see this. She's probably a very nice lady. Okay then! Good to know that the oven and countertops want to kill me. There's some garbage in it. No, no shit. What's down here though? Oh, oh fuck! Oh, I can go upstairs. I probably need to get into that shaft, though. phone. Just garbage. Alright, um, I think we still need to get into that area that was at the kitchen, so. We need to go there again. Hopefully we don't get attacked this time. this again, shall we? The pantry. There's a small open space. Yeah, that's fine and dandy. A 
tablecloth is covering the table. No, really? You don't say. seems strange. Wait, so there is a second door up there. Freaking knew it. Then we need to go back up and we need to get to that door. Is there a save option? Uh, yes. Awesome. Just in case things possibly go wrong. Check that out. That's gotta be Edward. Also, that's Tom and Jerry on the screen. So it was absolutely useless. And stop breathing so freaking heavy. Why you gotta breathe so heavy, my friend? Shower. Well, it looks like I'm injured. Okay. 
What am I missing then? I've got to try going out the front door. No response from the switch. Huh. What about this? An intercom? I could use this to call for help. Eh. Who am I kidding? No one is there but Scissorman. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, we're going out the front door. Or not. Simply will not open. He's locked me in here and he's taking his time to kill me. An umbrella stand. Lights are out. No shit. Well, what else can I find out? Like, as far as I can tell, there's no other rooms. Gotta be something I'm missing. But what? Oh! oh! Fucking Christ! Shut up! A Bible. God's always sleeping when you need him most. Okay. Alarm clock, it's set for 6 a.m. So why is it going off now? It's definitely not 6 a.m. Oh, it's the shadow. Okay. Is there anything else out here? Like, what's this other door open to? Like, I assume it goes into the entertainment room, but... Okay. Oh. There. Now it's... Okay. okay, so now we've got both doors. Okay, there must be, oh, oh, those are the mystery novels. Yes, congratulations, I'm very happy you know how to read, but we need to get out of here and you won't let me because you're trying to find more information on the house and we can't. Cut out newspaper articles. They're all about what happened yesterday. Ah, that old geezer must have known something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you... Mm. This picture, it's a bit crooked.
What? Something's written on the back. I found it, the location of the Barrow's Castle. You've confirmed the location of the Barrow's Castle. I've done what I came for. Now I've just got to get out of here. That goddamn vase. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me and it shouldn't have. Okay. Time to leave. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppers. Note to self, avoid doggo. Take soap. Yes, we do want to save. Awesome! Only messed up once, and that's because of Doggo. I wonder if Gots is able to get the statue all right. We better go to the police station. Well, that's great, because we're going to save that for next time. So, thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below, letting me know what you liked, as well as any future games you want me to start playing through in this PlayStation 1 catalog series that we're doing so as always if you liked what you saw go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to see more hit the subscribe button it helps me out and helps you guys stay up to date with all the videos that i'm going to be posting thanks again for watching bye Fucking cut off his head.